In this video, let's take a closer look at how to add a mobile magazine layout to a scrolling frame using Adobe InDesign. Follow along and learn how to add a slow grow animation to the main artwork in the project. We'll also use Adobe Express to convert an MP4 video to a GIF before placing it into the mobile magazine layout. Let's jump right into this video and start creating. Now, before we get started, you'll have to download the Universal Scrolling Frames extension from Ajar Productions. Visit the website link in the description below to access the In5 plugin. Once downloaded, follow the instructions provided on how to install the extension to InDesign. All right, in the first step, let me show you how to create the document for the mobile magazine. I'm going to click New File, and then I'm gonna choose Web from the selections up top. I'm gonna set the width to 1080, press your tab key a couple times until you get to the height, and let's set that to 1920. Now once you press tab, the orientation will be set to portrait, and that's fine. We're only working on one page because we're going to be applying the mobile magazine into a scrolling frame container. So let's keep that to one page. And if I scroll down, the only other thing we're going to set here are the margins. The margins will be 120, all the way around so just type 120 in the top field and then press tab and that will change the rest of course you can press the preview box there to see the changes in real time or the document setup in real time once you have that go ahead and click create the next step is adding more vertical space to accommodate the mobile magazine layout i'm going to make my way up to the properties panel and remember we set the height to 1920 but we're gonna need some more vertical space to accommodate our layout. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to delete the PX, the pixels, and I'm going to hold shift and then press eight on my keyboard. That is the times key. And then we wanna times 1920 by four, multiply it by four, okay? Hit your tab key and you can see that now our layout is much, much longer. And again, this will accommodate our layout. When you're setting up a document like this as well, you wanna add more pasteboard space. You can see it's pretty tight at the top and the bottom. And I'll show you how to do that as well. So if I go up to the InDesign uh, drop down here and then go to preferences, you can go to guides and pasteboard and we'll set the vertical margins to 1080 as well. And then press okay. And you can see we have much more space at the top and bottom to work with and it just gives you a little bit more real estate when you're working with the scrolling frame as well. Now this is how you would set up the document. I've gone ahead and already created my own with the layout intact. You could see it here, the depth is the same, but you could see that the content has been placed on the page. So if I press W, I'm just going to press W to go into preview mode. You could see I have my main image. I have some content here with another image. This is a placeholder shape which we'll add the GIF to shortly, and then the rest of the contents at the bottom. So as a first step, why don't we go ahead and add the animation to the main artwork at the very top. Let's click the main image once, and then while holding Command, that would be Control on Windows, press your plus arrow key a couple times to zoom in. And for this, we'll need the animation panel. To access that, go up to Window and Interactive, and then choose Animation. I already have mine open there, you can see. And the animation we want for our main artwork is a slow grow animation that animates from the bottom upwards. And I'll show you what I mean in a sec. There's the name of the animation, which is just the name of the image itself. And for this, we'll choose a preset of grow. Yes, we want this to happen on page load, so we'll just leave that as is. But we're really going to increase the duration. By default, it's set to one second. I'm going to select that and press seven. We want a seven second duration on that animation. The other thing we want is for it to animate from the bottom up. By default, the origin point is set to the center. So it's going to animate from the center out. We wanna choose the origin point of center bottom. So go ahead and click that. And then we're gonna change the scale width and height. We don't want it to grow too large. You can see it's set to 200% by default. Let's change this to about 105. We want a very subtle slow grow animation. So we can test that out by clicking the EPUB preview window icon here. That'll launch the EPUB preview window. 
And you can see that we have a very subtle, slow grow effect there. So that is looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and close that. You can also, if you wanted to increase the scale width, if 105% wasn't enough, we could try like 107 and something like that might work better. So if we test it again, you'll see that the animation comes in a little smoother as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that. And now we can move on to adding our GIF animation to the mobile magazine layout. Let's go back to fit in view. To do that, hold command control on windows and press zero to go back to fit in view. Next, let's jump over to Adobe Express and convert the MP4 video to a GIF that we'll place in the mobile magazine layout. I'm currently on Adobe Express and the first thing we wanna do is convert the video to a GIF. Let's go up to quick actions and we wanna choose convert video to GIF. Now in the lesson files that I've provided, there is a video called VR Main 2. Let's click upload your video and I'm gonna drag my finder window to show you. Here it is here, vrmain2.mp4. You can simply just click and drag that right into this and it will upload for you. Now this is a video that does not have sound so you don't have to worry about muting it or anything. It's just a clip of a woman looking into a VR set. Now the first thing you wanna look at is the file size. It has large, medium, and small. For this, I want it to be high quality, so let's go ahead and choose large. The size is the size of the actual GIF that you want. Now, because this is a nine by 16 and it already recognizes that, I'm going to leave it at nine by 16. You can use these handles to shorten or lengthen the GIF. And in this case, you would have to shorten it because it's about 11 seconds long. We'll leave it at its full length once you have those settings in place, go ahead and click download. Now it'll take a few moments to download. When it does, save it to your desktop and let's move on to the next step. Back in InDesign now, we're going to place the animated GIF into this placeholder rectangle that I have in the template. So there are a couple ways of doing this. You could just drag and drop the GIF in or click the rectangle once, go up to file, place, and then let's choose vrmain2.gif, which we just converted using Adobe Express. Click open and there is the GIF placed much like you would any ordinary image. Now again, we can go ahead and test this out, press any of your interactive panels and then the EPUB preview window and you'll see that this GIF is operating as intended. So that's good, that's a good sign. So we can close that and the next step is adding all of this into a container that will convert into a scrolling frame using the scrolling frames plugin. Now it's important before anything else to group all the content in the mobile magazine layout. Now to do this, just select everything using your selection tool and then press command control on windows and G to group everything. Alternatively, you can just go up to object and then group. So we can see everything is grouped here and that's great. We can cut this now. So Command X or Edit Cut. So we have everything cut and now we have to revert back to the original size of our document. Remember, 1920 in height. So let's go to the Properties panel again and let's change the height back to 1920. And you can see now we have our original document size. In the tools panel, let's select the rectangle frame tool and let's create a rectangle that will essentially become the container or the scrolling frame for our magazine layout here. With your selection tool, let's right click that container frame and let's choose paste into. It's very important not to choose paste in place or paste. Let's select paste into and you can see that the group is now in the container. Now I'm gonna zoom out command minus key. It's a good idea to zoom out because if we click this, you can see that the group is still intact, but we're gonna have to move it down. So the top of the group will snap to the top of the page. Hold shift if you have to, to make sure that everything is aligned properly. And now if I move back in command zero to go back into fit and view, you could see that the first panel in our mobile magazine fits the 1920 depth perfectly. So let's click out 
And now we're going to focus on creating the scrolling frame. Remember, if we click this, we're only clicking the container and not the content inside. If you need to access the content within the container, you'll have to double click. So let's click out and then click once on the container. Let's make our way up to window and then universal scrolling frames. Remember, you're going to have to download this plugin. There is a link in the description below. So I'm going to click that and that will bring up the universal scrolling frames window. From here, I'm going to set the scroll direction to vertical since we already know that this is going to be a vertical scroll. There's an option here to hide the scroll indicators. I typically leave those on because as a user experience, I'd like the user to know that that is a scrolling frame. So let's go ahead and just leave that unchecked. Then you can close it, you're done. You've set up the scrolling frame. So let's go ahead and test this out with the EPUB preview window again. Let's have a look at the animation first. You can see there's the slow grow with a seven second duration. And remember we set that using the bottom center origin point, but this is even better. Have a look, I can scroll down the mobile magazine and here comes the animated GIF, which we converted from a video using Adobe Express. So that's pretty cool. And I could scroll all the way to the bottom. So you can see that the scrolling frame works as intended. As a last step, I went ahead and exported the project as an EPUB fixed layout. So let's have a look at the mobile magazine in Apple Books. I'm gonna tap to open, that will launch, and you can see that the slow grow animation is working. I can also scroll down or swipe down on my mobile device, and there is the animated GIF, the video that we converted from Adobe Express. And you can see that is all working as intended as well. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video on how to add animation and a GIF to a mobile magazine layout within a scrolling frame, all using Adobe InDesign. If you'd like to watch more videos just like this one, check out this playlist right up here. Until next time, take care and keep creating.